conservative new media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion and the super genius. I'm talking about the season finale of True Blood. Woo! It went down tonight live on HBO, and I checked it out. Now, this was like, whoa, dude, everything had been leading up to this. Warlow and Bill and Eric and the vampires and the fairies and everything and Lilith and... And dude, this is just like, I mean, wait a minute. This was just a crazy situation. I mean, now like the whole little thing is like kind of gone. And is this like, did Bill save the, I mean, it's just like, I don't know, dude. I mean, what happened to that whole little situation? Like that's just, and then like Warlow, I'm glad Warlow's gone because he just was bugging me. Like the whole Warlow thing, I didn't even like. First of all, all my personal opinion only knowledge. If I'm not casting any Spurs all for a team of purpose only, please check exclaims. I mean, dude, everything this season was like getting really good. It was like building up and everything like that. But this this ending was just kind of like a weird twist. I just like was like kind of, I don't know, dude. Like I was like the last episode was great in my opinion, but then this episode was just kind of like, I don't, I don't know. And then what about Eric, dude? Is Eric just, is he done? Is he fried? Is he just blasted? I mean, is Eric just done? Is that it? I mean, Eric was cool, dude, Eric Northman, and he's up there on the mountain, and what is he doing? I mean, I understand, like, you can get a song, but I mean, dude, that's just really bold to just sit out there and then sunbathing without any clothes and stuff like that, if you're a vampire. So, I don't know about that. So, we don't, I mean, that's like, whoa, and what about Eric, and what about Pam, and all that? So, I guess, you know, what we'll to find out next season exactly, exactly, maybe. I, I don't know if there's any kind of window of opportunity for Eric, or if he's just done. But the whole thing with Bill, like Bill's getting boring for me, okay? Like this season kind of like, you know, but Bill's sort of been boring, but this kind of made it more boring in my personal opinion. But the one that really saved this episode, or this, this, you know, I mean, that I really am digging is Jason. I like Jason from the beginning, but Jason is just funny and he's doing his thing. And what about his new girlfriend or whatever, that vampire, that whole situation and that like heat, dude. Like that, 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 that kind of situation with the, the w between girlfriend and his ex-girlfriend there and everything like that, that Jessica, like that's a pretty intense, that little volleyball game and stuff like that. But then like, well, let's talk about this. Like girlfriend is like putting him on ice, dude, kind of. And I mean, though, and see, here's the thing. It's one thing, like, I mean, think about it from her perspective, like, okay, She's like whatever it is, 800 years old or something like that. You know, obviously it's fiction and everything, you know. But, it, but you know, dude, he's like a young dude. It's one thing to be on ice for a period of time when you're 800 years old. It's another thing when, like, you know, you're Jason's age. So is that kind of fair? But that's the question. But, I mean, like I said, I like this episode. It's interesting. But, I, I mean, I kind of like, I mean, I didn't like it in comparison. It's See, this is what I'm saying. I'm confused. I'm a little conflicted on this one. I'm a little conflicted on this one because I didn't like the episode. At the same time, it resolved things. It opens up a lot of other things. So maybe it did its job. But I like, I like the rest of the season. I like the last episode better. So, I mean, it's kind of like, hmm. I mean... Uh, you know, I'm not saying it left me with the same feeling as like the last Sopranos episode, but any stretch. But at the same time, like I just, I, I, uh, I, you know, I feel like it could have been a better job on this episode. But I can't really judge it until I see the next season. Now we got Sam as mayor and everything like that. That's very interesting. And like Andy Belfort, like he used to just bore the heck out of me, but he's like really come a long ways. Like the whole thing with his daughter and stuff like that, that's been really good for that character. A lot of growth there, that's interesting. Same thing with Arlene, like she's become a little bit more interesting, but like Andy Belfort's really sort of stepped up. And him and Jason, and I, just, I love the scene between him and Jason where they're talking about they need to go in their head against Warlow. And then Jason's like, that's the only way we're doing it, or whatever. I don't even know. Well, exactly what he said. That was a great line. And those two, like, that's a good vibe right there. And Andy Belfour is sort of dad. That's sort of interesting, you know, like I said as well. Now, I don't know. Now, what about Tara and her mom? How is that going to go? And also, uh, Al Seed, like, I'm digging Al Seed. And, and that's sort of, you know, I've always liked Al Seed. And he's had a good storyline and stuff like that. So, I mean, this is setting certain things up. With this whole situation with the infected vampires 
and you know the the, the human and vampire sort of alliance so you know for the non-infected there's a lot of different things here but warlow is gone what about the granddad what i mean there's so many different things to talk about when you really start looking at the different layers of the onion and unpacking this situation well here's what i want to know right now True Blood fans, number one, are you happy with this episode? Did it wind up right? Is this the way you want to see the whole thing with Lilith come in? What about Eric Northman? What about Bill being, you know, normal Bill again and everything like that? And what about Sookie? And what about Warlow? I mean, those are right there huge questions, okay? Now, Sam, where does he go from here? And NLC, I mean, how is, I mean, the him and Sookie, how is that going to all work and stuff like that? Do you think that they will stay together? What other things might happen with the whole uh, werewolf situation with Alcide? Or is that kind of sort of, uh, you know, put on hold for a little bit? And Jason, Jason with his new girlfriend. Where is Jason going to go with this whole situation? There's a lot of things that are going to be set up for next season. But I think, you know, from an from a entertainment standpoint and an evolution standpoint in terms of the character and stuff like that, I like what I saw out of Jason this season. I like what I saw out of um, uh, Andy Belfour this season. Those are very interesting things. Not sure where I'm at on, on, on Bill. Like I said, he's been kind of boring me. You know, uh, Suki, you know, has kind of always sort of stayed, at, you know, at that level. There's interesting things going on, but, you know, hasn't been like the superstar character for me. I mean, I, you know, so I'm not quite sure about that one. But, I mean, Eric, dude, they, see, Eric, there was another one, too. I think Eric and Pam this season really did did a lot. I mean, Pam with that therapist, that was an interesting dynamic there, you know what I mean? And Eric's always been interesting and stuff like that, so it would be unfortunate if Eric is gone. So there's a lot left up in the air. Were you satisfied with this season and what happened and where it went? What did you feel about this finale? And what do you think is going to happen next season? You tell me where you're at. Let's give me the comments below. Please subscribe. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it to your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'm John D. Valero, the four-time national champion and the super, and super genius. And again, all my personal opinion only, not lodging facts, not catching any aspersion. All for entertainment purpose only. Please check the disclaimers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.